There's a couple things that I perceived. I don't want to really say wrong with this bench, but he asked me to look at it. So I'm going to show you what those are. Then I'm going to explain it to him. Then I'm going to have him apply it and see. But ultimately, we're not going to know if it's going to make any difference or not until he does it in his training for a while. So go ahead and bench again like you did. Don't tune me out, OK? So what you're going to see, well, yeah, what you're going to see when he sets up is he's arching really hard, which is good. He's setting his shoulder blades, but he's not putting his shoulder blades together tight enough. And he's not driving them down either. So he's doing a good job of setting them, you know, planning them, but he's not going that extra step with it. And then the next thing you're going to see when he goes to take it out is he presses straight up. He doesn't pull it out. So he's not activating his lats when he brings it out. His form is actually pretty good. Stay there and do another rep real quick and pause, pause on your chest. His form's actually really good considering because with really long arms, his elbows are not going under the bench pad where I expected to see when he asked me that his elbows were going to be way under the pad. Where they're, where they're at right now, when he pauses, should be just slightly in line with the pad. I want to get his elbows up a little bit more by keeping his back tighter and his lats more activated. So what you're going to do is this time when you set up, and when you go to plant your traps into the bench, make sure they're, your shoulder blades are pulled together okay. and down. Okay. Kind of like when you would squat, sure. together and down. So go ahead and do that. And then when you go to take the bar out of the rack, I want you to pull it out, like a pullover. So, so the bar, try to strip the knurling off the bar with this part of the J hook. Okay. okay. So shoulder blades down and back, and then pull the bar out so you're stripping it. Good. Now bring it down and pause. Now see where his elbows are compared to before. Now he's above the bench pad. Okay. Which is less shoulder rotation. It's less. It's less bar that travel, and it's safer for the shoulders. So it's a really minor thing. Now it's just got to be applied to the training to see if it's really going to help or not.